Today's learning intention is forming the equation of a straight line. Our National 5 Essential Skills are our Algebra Skills, working rearranging equations, multiplying out brackets and working with integers with negative numbers. Now, our prior knowledge from National 5 is that you'll already know the equation of any straight line can be written in the form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient of the straight line and c is the y-intercept, where it cuts the y-axis. You'll also be introduced to another form, y minus b equals m brackets x minus a, where m is still the gradient and any point on the line is given by the coordinates a, b. Now for higher level, we'll expect you to be able to multiply out the brackets and rearrange this form, y minus b equals mx minus a, into a new form, ax plus by equals c. Now this form is extremely useful because later on in unit 1, you'll be asked to work out the point of intersection between two lines using simultaneous equations. So this form is much easier to cope with to manage. So let's look at an example. Example 1. Find the equation of the line joining the points minus 1, 4 and the other point 8, 7. Now you'll see in the bottom left hand side of the video a little note taken icon. Now you have um, this slide in your notes and I'll ask you to copy down the worked example as I'm going through the video. Any point in time I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and take time to make sure your notes are clear and understandable. So let's get started. The equation of any straight line is given by the equation y minus b equals mx minus a. Now gradient equals m, so we have to first of all work out what the gradient is between these two given points. So the gradient equals the change in y over change in x, that's the change in vertical divided by the change in horizontal. And you might have seen that as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's start off by calculating the change in the vertical, delta y, change in y. So m equals, well the change in y, I'm starting at 4 and I'm going up to 7, I'm going to add on 3. You might be used to writing that as 7 minus 4 equals 3, which is perfectly fine. I just prefer to add on because then I'm not having to deal with double negatives. Now I have to work out the change in x, delta x. So it starts at minus 1 and goes up to 8, so I'm going to have to add on 9. Again, you might be used to seeing that as 8 minus minus 1, which becomes 8 plus 1, which becomes 9. Either way is perfectly acceptable. So now I've calculated the gradient equals 3 over 9, and I have to simplify that to gradient equals a third. So now I know a gradient, I'm going to have to select a point on the line, AB. Now you can choose either point, point minus 1, 4 or the point 8, 7. Normally for National 5, I would always ask you to pick the easiest point, the one that doesn't have any horrible negatives in it. However, at higher level, more often than not, you're going to be asked for a point with negatives in it. So we need to work on our skills working with integers. So in this case, I've selected the point minus 1, 4. So A equals minus 1 and B equals 4. So now again, I write out the equation y minus b equals mx minus a and start to substitute in the variables m, a and b. That gives me y minus 4 equals a third brackets x minus minus 1. Now, I don't want to work with fractions. I need to simplify it. So what you have to do is multiply through both sides of the equation by the denominator. In this case, that's 3. That gives me 3y minus 12 equals x plus 1. So the x minus minus 1's become an x plus 1 and the third is vanished. We've simplified the equation. Now all I have to do is get rid of the bracket and rearrange into the form ax plus by equals c. That gives me x minus 3y equals negative 13. And that's the equation of the line joining the points minus 1, 4 and 8, 7. Let's try another example. Example 2. Find the equation of the line joining the points 8, negative 4 and negative 2, 1. It's the same as the last example. 
down the equation of any straight line is given by y minus b equals mx minus a. Now that equation, remember, you have to know it for the exam. It's not given on your formula sheet. Now the first thing I did the last time was work out the gradient. Gradient equals m, and the gradient is change in y over change in x. It's y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now in this case, the change in y is plus 5. From minus 4 to 1, I'm going to have to add on 5. And the change in x is I'm starting at 8, and I'm going down now to minus 2. So I have to take away 10. And that can be rearranged into the fraction negative a half. So we're simplifying our fractions all the time at higher maths. Now I know the gradient, I can select a point on the line. Any point I like, I can try 8, negative 4 or negative 2, 1. It's up to you. For this example, I've gone with the point minus 2, 1. I write out the equation y minus b equals mx minus a. Instead of substituting for m, a and b, that gives me y minus 1 equals negative a half, x minus minus 2. Again, I want to simplify it. I don't want to work with fractions, so I multiply through by the denominator. In this case, it's the number 2. That gives me 2y minus 2 equals minus x plus 2. So the x minus minus 2 has become an x plus 2, and I still have that negative 1 as the numerator of the fraction. Now I'm going to multiply out the bracket by the negative 1 and rearrange into the form ax plus by equals c. So I've got 2y minus 2 equals negative x negative 2. And now I can rearrange. I've got x plus 2y equals 0. And that's the equation of my straight line. Now remember, left hand side has got a note taking symbol. So you're expected to copy down this as a note. Okay, so here's some examples for you to try on your own now. We're going to find the equation of the line joining the points and we have five examples for you to try on your own. To get yourself started and to give you some extra help, follow my steps. One, calculate the gradient m, it's change in y over change in x. Identify a point on the line ab, it doesn't matter. Substitute into y minus b equals mx minus a. And then finally, rearrange your equation into the form ax plus by equals c. At this point, I'd ask you to pause the video and try these for yourself in your jotters. Once you're confident that you're finished and you've got the right answers, then restart the video again and you'll, you can mark your own work. Now we're going to ask you at higher mass to self-assess your progress as you're going through these videos. And we're calling it the RAG status, red, amber or green. So you can write out RAG and then underneath your traffic light, can you please tick where you think you are? If you're having problems with those examples, then tick red. If you're confident, but maybe if you have a few minor mistakes, tick amber. If you've got everything right and you're completely confident and you're ready to go on to the next lesson, then tick green. If you would like some extra practice, why not try exercise 1a in page 1 of your Heinemann Higher Maths textbook? We'll probably go over this in class, but you can get started on your own. So what have we learned today? Can you please take this note into your jotter? Again, you see the note-taking symbol at the top of the page. To form the equation of any straight line, you can follow the following steps. Step 1. Calculate the gradient m, which equals delta y over delta x. That's the change in the vertical divided by the change in the horizontal. Step two was to identify a point on the line ab. 
and then substitute into the equation y minus b equals mx minus a. And our final step was to rearrange this into the form ax plus by equals c.